ones that were so tall when they stood up they were the heights of mountains and when they lay down they were the length of rivers. But we pay also homage to the ordinary everyday people who taught us beautiful ways to walk in the world as African people. People that may not have worn African clothes on remember the African language as I was speaking when I opened up. But still taught us to be the best of what it means to be African and human by teaching us to speak to, to do justice, to honor our elders and our ancestors, to cherish and challenge our children, to care for the poor and vulnerable among us, to have a rightful relationship with the environment, to constantly struggle against evil and injustice, and always raise up praise and pursue the good. I thank them because they taught me the values that I put in Kawaita philosophy, my philosophy, out of which I created both Kwanzaa and then Guzo Sao. Right. <laughs> this 50th anniversary celebration is also an honor and gives thanks to our people, African Americans first, but also Africans everywhere to whom the holiday belongs. For it is those African people who embraced Kwanzaa when it was offered to them, received it as their own, nurtured it, and made it the national an international celebration of our African self and the history and culture that grounds us and gives us identity, purpose, and direction. Now more than any other time, African people all over the world, on every continent in the world, celebrate this holiday, practice these principles throughout the world, African community. We get emails and correspondence and pictures and YouTube presentations and video from all over the world, from Africa, from Asia, from Latin America, Puerto Rico, Panama, Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, from the South, South Africa, from the Cameroon, from so many places in Africa, from London, from Canada, from Japan and China and India and Korea. <laughs> this value system, think about it, black people. This value system, more than any other value system we have, more than any other set of principles we have, have united Africans all over the world in a positive way, in a grounded way. In a way that anchors them, orients them, <laughs> elevates them, and directs their lives toward good and expansive ends. I give honor also to my organization, us. Us means us. Yes. And what other people say? It means us. <laughs> it is inside us where I found the critical content, which Kwanzaa was conceived and created. Where it was first, where it was first accepted, where it was first practiced, and where it was begun as a living tradition. All my homage and honor are due also to the Black Liberation Movement, which embraced and spread the practice of Kwanzaa also. And some of y'all are really part of that. And so I want to just pause and give you credit for that, for teaching the value of the Nguzo Saba and using these principles to undergird and inform a myriad of programs and projects of liberation and family and community building, as Reverend Sharpton say he came into the movement at. So let's give him and yourself another yeah. strong hand.